Hi, here your friends of Sustainable Montessori with another exciting lesson. Please keep checking our materials in the Teachers Pay Teacher Store, our blog, and also our YouTube channel. We, I, we're waiting for your comments. So today, where do you live? Do you live in a house? Do you live in a big city? Do you live in a small town? This is a story about a very special street, okay? Some of the things are similar to your street, some of the things are different. So, for example, this street has houses, probably like your street, okay? So, we have one house, and then beside that house, like in many streets, we have a another house. But this one is a little bit bigger. And then the next house is even bigger. And the next house is even bigger. That happens all the way the street. You get bigger house, and then a bigger house, and then a bigger house. And another thing that makes unique this street is actually that this street goes forever. It never ends, and it gets a bigger and a bigger and a bigger house. And of course, in all houses, we have people living. And uh, this street is also a little bit different because in them, in all houses, we always have three people living. So we're going to put them in each one of the houses. And we have in each one of them three people living. Of course, these three people are getting bigger as long as the house is growing. Too. And probably at this moment, your students, some of them, they may have done the connection that you are actually using the same colors that we use for place value in Montessori, okay? Usually this lesson is being introduced just after the stamp game so they get in the bit frame and they already know about the Montessori colors. So, if you see, in each one of the houses, we have three people living there. And as all houses, probably in yours, we have mailboxes. That's how we get our mail, no? And in the mailbox, a lot of times it says the name of the family that lives there. So this is the same thing in the street. So we have the Sextillion family, and they have their mailbox, the Quintillion family, and if you see, it has the names of the last names. The Quadrillion family, the Trillion family, the Billion family, the Million family, and finally the Thousand family. And probably you're wondering about that small house. You know, theirs is a humble family. They're so humble that are called the simple family, and they don't have a mailbox. So, once getting to this point, again, students have started to wonder and started to make the connection with math. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create some numbers. And for that, look, I brought the beatbox. And we're going to try to make some numbers. So if I put this number here, this number would be 500. Again, because this family is the simple family, we don't have a last name for them. But if I put it here, this would be 500,000. Okay? 500 and then the last name of the family, 1,000. Now let's say that I put the numbers this way. And I'm going to start playing with it. And kids love this lesson because they let them make big numbers and they're in sensitive period for big numbers. So this number, for example, would be 42 trillion, 5 billion, okay? Let's create a big number. So, at this moment during the lesson, you may ask your friends, your, your, your students, actually to read this number. 
So you have here, this would be 3 quintillion, 238 quadrillion, 42 trillion, 5 billion, 58 million, 40,000. After you presented this number, you want your students actually to write it down. So we're going to write down our number. So our number would be 3 quintillion, my comma, 238 quadrillion 40 two can see it better. Come on. Then zero. Zero. Five. Billion. Million, and then we have the fifty thousand up here. So that would be zero fifty. So you want your students actually to create these numbers. Usually we ask them to do three, maybe four, and then after they write them down, actually to um, say the numbers out loud. And the way you're gonna help them is by uh, reminding them that we say in each one of the houses. So for example, let's go back to this number, just read this number, three and then the last name, Quintilion. 238, and then the last name, quadrillion. 42 trillion, 5 billion, 58 million, and then 50,000. And that's the number that they have here. So they can write it down, and then an extension for this one could be actually to write it down with words. Finally, there's many, many extensions that we can do with this lesson. We can even ask them to add two numbers you put here on the infinity street. Also, it is always good if you can actually have books like this one. It's called Millions, Billions, and Trillions because that inspired their imagination. They really love these big numbers. So this is actually a really cool lesson that students really enjoy and it gives them a solid sense of place value. Thank you very much for watching the lesson. Keep checking our materials in Teachers Pay Teachers store, enjoying our blog, and please send our comments. Thank you very much.